Hello guys, welcome to episode one of the well what's let's, let's, what should we call this one? Let's play FTB multiplayer series. Yes, that's good. Let's play FTB Infinity Multiplayer series. So yeah, this is a multiplayer server that's run by Jabs Gaming, I think, or Jab Gaming. I'll put a link to his channel in down into the description. And he was kind enough to let me play on his server. So I did play a little bit just to get a head start and not bore everyone with the usual, yeah, let's punch trees and get stuff done. So I built a house. How do you like the house? Oh, I need to fix that there. So this is not a complete house. It still needs a little bit there but more or less done. I usually don't build something that looks remotely as good as this. I usually be build like little cubes or just mine out a cave in the side of a mountain. So this will be our base of operations for a little bit. So I've been running around trying to gather resources and whatnot to make this happen. Spent quite a few hours on it. Um, had to did a quick start on getting a smeltery up and get all the costs that I will need. I haven't done much besides starting at Botania to build the petal ap apothecary. I'm still having problems pronouncing that name. Yeah. Which is fairly simple to build, you just need four, four cobblestone, two cobblestone slabs and any kind of petal. And boom, in a crafting grid you have that, fill it up with water, drop in four white petals and a seed and you get one pure daisy. And I use the pure daisies, or both of them, to create living wood and living rock which you get by putting any wood log, or wood log around it and any well, not any, but smooth stone around it, and that will turn into living wood and living rock, respectively. So I used those because I needed a bunch of living rock to create manipoles. I created two because you need to create a diluted manipole, which is how many? Five living rock? You put it down, then you create a bunch of mana, gen mana generating flowers. Uh, this one's an endo flame which actually consumes and burns whatever you drop on it and that's how it creates mana but when it creates it it needs a way to put that mana into a mana pool to gather it so we had to create a mana spreader which is six living wood any kind of petal and one gold ingot so three gold ingot petal and another three living wood and that's it so that's how you make it. Look at it. Look at that. So that's any kind of petal. And a gold ingot and you get a mana spreader. Same with a mana pool. You need to make a diluted one first. In a U shape and then drop the diluted one into, um, into some mana. In another diluted mana pool and you get a full blown mana pool that can hold more mana. I also created a wand of the forest as well. So wand. Wand of the forest is living with twigs, which is just two living wood. Two living wood next to each other. And any color of of the two petals, and that will be on your actually that's you will see the colours. It's quite awesome. So that's why I did planted a bunch of Sugar cane, so if we get those as well, we can create books and whatnot, or sugar. And I've been mining, so there's a little cave system below us. And this leads in there, I've been down there mining and gathering some resources, but not a lot. So what I would like to do today is get a more mana. So I started with Botania because I want to get mana steel. And you get mana steel by dropping iron ingots in there. So I want to get the mana steel 
what's this called? Mana Steel Armor. So I want to get that. Do, do, do. Mystical items, probably. Or maybe not. Yes. Mana Steel Equipment. So you can make pickaxes and whatnot. Shears, swords. But I want to get the helmets. It's a really good and cheap ish uh, starting or start the armor. So I want to get this. This bad boy. And I also want to get a mana tablet. Mana. Mana Steel Naturalist Tools. It's probably. Yeah, it's the scoop and the grafter. Okay. Let's see where that could be. Mystical items, probably. Uh, da, 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 da. Or maybe not. Hmm. Hovering hourglass. Interesting. The ability count time is essential. One to anyone who wishes to develop any redstone contraptions. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I made this one. Looks quite awesome. Right. Eye of the Ancients. No, don't care about these. Or maybe it's in here. No, those are baubles. Oh, yes. What I want to do as well is the Pyroclast Pendant, but we will need to get the runic stuff for it first. And the Sojourner's Sash, I love it from my single player series. It's just so essential, I just can't live without it anymore. So those are the things that I would like to work towards in this episode. And let's see if we... I've, because I'm not alone this, on this server, there's Jab Gaming and Clumsy Geek who share a little fortress down there. So there they share a little fortress there together and build stuff there. We'll probably go and have a look at some point in one of the future episodes and see how they go. But let's see if we can catch up with them. I haven't seen them online since, well, I saw Jab Gaming the first day when I logged on. I'm quite pleased how this house turned out. So let's see if we can catch up with them. They are fairly way, fair ways ahead of me. So we'll see. Right, so let me, why do I have a torch here? There's no need to place a torch there. It's probably an accident. Right, so I'm trying to get a mana as much as I can and I'll bring some, how much do we have? Not a lot. Yes, you can also see how much mana the mana pool has. How much is in the mana spreader and where how much is in the actual flower that generates it. We probably need a bit a few more flowers to generate. I don't want to get the passive flowers. Because unfortunately on this server they have a two-day shelf life. And since I've been alone on this server, I've been sleeping over the night, so it those flowers it don't generate too much mana in the first place. And after two days they are gone. Instead, like the end of flame is not gone. And you can see which mana spreader it's connected to because the mana spreader is highlighted. This is quite cool. Same, same with the mana spreader. You can see it shoots stuff in here. Right. And also I'm in a magical forest biome, so that will be good for Thorncraft when we start with it. But for now, let's grab some iron and see how many we can actually turn into. I don't know how many I need. I need to calculate. So four for the boots. Let's see. Let's see. Let's count it. So I need four for the boots. I need four seven for the legs. 
four, seven, eleven, and then five, that's sixteen, and then eight, so that's twenty-four. For the full set, right? Let's see, I think so. If you make more, it's fine. So we'll probably make as many as we can, and I'll be back as well. We're not gonna be back. So how you make it, you just drop it in. It's fairly simple. This will even tell you if it can uh, convert it into mana steel. So as you can see, there's a little green check mark. So we can do that. So let's throw stuff in. How many can we make? Right, so as you can see, that's it. We can't make more. We actually managed to make 19, so we almost made enough for a full set of armor. So let's start crafting it. Until the end of flame starts to fill that back in. So I'll make this. I'll make this. And I'll probably need to make this, right? Well, okay, that's not how I wanted it to turn out. So I'll make it this way, grab it that way, put those in there, and grab that one. So all we need now is the breastplate. Look at that, we look awesome. Right, can we? No, not yet. How many do we need? That's three. We need five more at least. And you ran out of power already. Come on, eat it. Eat it. So you can see the particle effects around it, that's when it's working, so there's no point throwing another piece of coal or a block of coal or charcoal or anything burnable on it, because that's just wasted. So, need to wait for it. You can actually time how long it burns, and then put a redstone mechanism around it that counts and then just drops another one on it. Let's see, can we make more? I want to make more. I saw several wisps flying around, so that will be an interesting place. And also there's a slime island up there with the king's slime as well. We might go up and kill it. We might get some nice loot. Looty loot. But we'll leave that until we get... Uh, wow, that was loud. Jetpack. And can go up there. Also, I want to do Ender I.O. because I think that's one of the best new mods out there. I actually started with it. I created a sag mill so I can get some more sand from cobblestone because I was lazy going out finding sand. And I also made a sterling generator. So I haven't made a sterling, sterling generator in my single player series. But I did make it here. And it's fairly simple. You just need any kind of smooth stone bricks and some basic gears which is sticks and cobblestone a piston and a furnace and you get a sterling generator and it generates uh, 20 rf from coal and i think that's the same yeah it's the same from charcoal as well and then the sag mill is fairly simple to create it's just a machine chassis which requires a basic capacitor, which is a bunch of redstone, gold, and one piece of copper. And another piston, some iron, and some... some... what's that? Flint! There we go. Just remembered. Right, so that's how you do it. I want to create an alloy furnace as well. So we get that. Also, one piece of charcoal, one piece of copper, gen uh, copper, one piece of coal generates like 16k RF. So that's quite nice. Okay, we can create one more. This will take quite some time, so I'll be back when I can craft the chest plate. Okay, woohoo! We have our breastplate or chest plate or whatever. We look awesome. Although that hat is just what? Uh, remove hat. Look at that. We look awesome. Now, what I would like to do as well is 
what's cool about this mana steel armor is that if you have i managed to find it if you have a mana tablet it will use the mana from the tablet to protect you instead of the durability of your armor so as long as you have your tablet filled up and it's not too expensive you need one diamond i have a bunch not a lot but i do have some like i have 18 so i can spare one diamond and i will need eight of these to make a mana tablet and then that will protect us and that's quite awesome Oops. so yeah that's the next thing i would like to do let's see if we can infuse this diamond i don't think we can not enough mana so let's me grab a bunch more oh, it's not a lot of charcoal So let's get a bunch more charcoal here. Actually make two another end of flame just to try and speed up the process. They don't really generate a lot. But we do want to but I do have the armor, which is quite good. I'm quite happy about that one. It's just getting the mana tablet and getting the tablet charged that will be a challenge. Because we don't have a lot of mana here yet. I could create like the day blooms and stuff, but those are just two days and then they are gone. Which is a bit irritating to always redo them. I'm not really a fan of that. So I will need to look into something else that generates power. And easy to make. Or easy-ish. So we would need to make a runic altar as well. So we'll probably do that at some point. We could feed these with like trees. If I made a tree farm on the other side and somehow transported things over here. That might actually work out. And then just put the mechanism here that actually drops like a piece of wood on this one, a piece of wood on that one. And they just burn. And when that's gone, they just drop another one. Or maybe do a tree farm. Funnel it into furnaces and then drop charcoal on them because they burn longer. Not too long, but longer. Coal blocks are the best. So anything that can be burned and doesn't have a byproduct, like lava buckets, give you back a bucket. So they, they can't use lava buckets, unfortunately. Oh. No, let's see. Still not enough mana in there. I want to sacrifice one diamond and then I can't. Oh, the suspense is killing me. Right, anyway, I'll be back as soon as I have enough mana in here to make this a reality. So we create a mana tablet, we'll pop it in there and I'll probably charge it until the next episode. So be right back in just a few. Okay, finally, I just had to sleep over the night, and there we go, we have a mana diamond. And now we have a mana tablet. And what I'm going to do is just grab all this charcoal. And we'll feed those two ender flames. Like a boss. And try to get this bad boy. Okay, so I'll... I want you to spare mana into this. And yeah, so you need the bond of the forest to change it and then it will dish out mana to items like the mana tablet that will collect all the mana that's in there. There's, was, there's not a lot in there, just a little bit. It didn't even move the durability bar. But yeah, that's what we are going to do. So they say it's a brand new series. Well, not brand new because FTB Infinity is already on my channel and I'm playing it in single player as well. But this one's a multiplayer experience, which I think will be beneficial and will be fun. We'll check out the other guys as well. They will come around. We may do things together. So good, th good times are coming. And if you like this, if you enjoyed this episode, hit the like button. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button as well. And until next time.
Bye-bye.